Bamid bar Numbers 12, and Miriam and Aharon spoke against Moshe because of the Kushit woman whom he had married, for he had married a Kushit woman. And they said, Has Yahuwah indeed spoken only by Moshe? Has he not spoken also by us? And Yahuwah heard it. Now the man Moshe was very meek, above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And Yahuwah spoke suddenly unto El Moshe and unto El Aharan and unto Miriam. Come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the assembly. And they three came out. And Yahuwah came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aharan and Miriam, Miriam. And they both came forth and he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, Yahuwah, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moshe is not so, who is faithful in all my house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of Yahuwah shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moshe? And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Ahran looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Ahran said unto Moshe, Alas, my lord, I beseech you, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he comes out of his mother's womb. And Moshe cried unto Eliyahuah, Eliyahuah, saying, Heal her now, O El, I beseech you. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, If her father had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out from the camp seven days, and after that let her be received in again. And Miriam was shut out from the camp seven days, and the people journeyed not till Miriam was brought in again. And afterward the people removed from Chatzaroth and pitched in the wilderness of Pa'aran.